Hi guys, welcome back. Good morning guys, so before we get into our butterflies, I wanna show you our fence because it's finally done. We still have a little bit of cleanup to do just because it's been raining nonstop, but other than that, we're loving it. And let me tell you, it feels amazing to mark that off the list. So now on to butterflies. So if you've been following along, you know we got some Monarch caterpillars from my friend because she has a ton in her backyard. And then we've been buying milkweed from a local nursery which already has a ton of eggs on it and even some tiny little caterpillars. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a clip from a previous video so you guys can get all caught up on our enclosure and whatnot if you haven't been watching. We originally made this little enclosure for them with the little fireplace guard, I guess you could call it, and Annette we got at Lowe's. Four of them made their little chrysalis, and a couple of them could really open any day now. They're beautiful, they have a little hint of gold on them. I was a little sad because you couldn't really see what was going on through that screen, so call me crazy, but we bought this. I got this on Amazon and it's actually made for a baby's crib, but I really like it because I can see through it pretty easily. I can access it through this zipper, which is way better than this contraption we had before. It was a nightmare to get open and exchange the plants, water the plants. So now I'm gonna go through all the different stages of the monarch's life because I caught them all on film and honestly, some of it is just insane. The transformation that they do is just, Crazy. So an adult female will lay their egg, which is a very small little egg, on a milkweed plant because the milkweed is the host plant for the caterpillar. It's the only thing that the caterpillars will eat. When the egg hatches, the caterpillar is so, so small. And in about nine to 14 days, it'll be two inches in length. So it grows like 2,000 times its size in that week and a half to two weeks span. And as they grow, they will eat so much milkweed. I mean, we had new milkweed and a couple days later it was completely stripped. So once the caterpillar is fully grown, it goes on the move. It leaves the milkweed plant and finds a spot to attach itself to transform into its chrysalis. Got a little guy on the move. Once it's attached itself to the actual surface, it hangs in a J formation. And then about like 18 hours was the sweet spot that I found because I've been timing all the different ones. <laughs> but about 18 hours to 24 hours later is when they will do their final molt. This particular transformation just amazed me because I had never seen it before. But you can tell that's about to happen when their little antenna gets rigid. It's not like a smooth surface anymore. And once I saw that happening, I knew it was about to happen and I grabbed the camera. Also, I do just wanna tell you guys, the lighting's a little funky in the beginning because I was so in tune with watching the caterpillar. I didn't notice that the sun had changed and I didn't want to disrupt the camera or the tent or the caterpillar or anything. So I kind of fumbled around to fix the lighting best I can, but you'll see, it's still really cool.
so by the end of the day that chrysalis will be fully formed and it's like a lime green color with a little hint of gold it's honestly gorgeous and then about 10 to 14 days so another two weeks goes by and you'll see that the chrysalis starts to darken in color and then next thing you know it'll be almost completely black and then turn see-through and you can see the monarch's wings through the chrysalis And then normally about mid-morning, the butterfly will emerge. After it does, it'll hang there for about two hours, I think it is, to pump its wings full of fluid, and then it'll drain the extra fluid, and then it's ready for its first flight. <gasps> it's happening. Try not to bump it, though. Oh my gosh. Literally the minute you got up. Do you see the split? Oh my god. You got it on camera lane? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so glad. We waited all this time. I know we waited. We've been out here for like over an hour. It's been such a waste to pack up and go on. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I did not see that with that guy. Mm -hmm. This is when I was inside. Oh, good little leg. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so cool. Where's my phone? Right there. We personally found that it's best to move the butterfly out to our butterfly garden around like the one to one and a half hour mark. Their wings are almost dry, but they're not really ready to fly yet. So they will go on our finger a lot easier and not fly around our little enclosure and beat up their wings. He just fell on the ground and picked him up and put on Will's finger. Yeah, let's put him out on the milkweeds outside or? Yeah. Not gonna lie, this is pretty cool. This is the first time I can actually like hang out with them for a minute. They normally just fly away. So I was gonna try and put them on my face and get like a cute picture, but he just started dripping fluid, I think to like purge the extra and then he's gonna dry out his wings. So I don't really wanna put him on my face at the moment, but he's really cute. So maybe I'll just hang out and wait. Bonnie's over there jealous. Are you okay? There we go. Oh, so cool. So we've released nine butterflies so far and I believe six of them were female and three were male. You can tell by the design on their wings. I will hop in a picture for you guys here. And then we also have two more chrysalis in our enclosure as well as a couple little baby caterpillars. Once all of those in the tent um, become butterflies and we release them into the wild, we'll close up the tent until next year. But we will continue to plant milkweed out in our butterfly garden so all those that we released can come back and lay their eggs on that milkweed. And trust me, they already have. They're just covered in eggs, which is so exciting. We're just hoping that out in the wild, the lizards and wasps won't eat all of them, but you know, that's just 
the life cycle. So we will see how that goes. But thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you really enjoyed all this butterfly footage just as much as I enjoyed filming it and watching it all unfold in front of my eyes. Have a good one, guys. Bye.